Once a cyclic redundancy check check value has been computed, it needs to be validated to determine if the code word has retained its integrity. This is also done by a polynomial division that is essentially the same computation as used to compute the check value, but with a twist. To validate a code word, one does polynomial division of the code word mod the CRC polynomial, but checks that the result is zero. If the result is zero, it's a valid code word. If not, there's been some corruption. We start with an example code word of 101.10001, which we know is a valid 8-bit code word. It has a 3-bit data value, and it has a 5-bit check value. These 8 bits in turn correspond to a polynomial, the three top coefficients of which are the data word and the bottom five coefficients of which are the check value. We use the same polynomial used to compute the check value in order to determine whether the code word has retained its integrity. The idea here is that the code word is valid if the code word polynomial 1x to the 7th plus x to the 5th plus x to the 4th plus 1 mod the CRC polynomial value of x to the fifth plus x squared plus one is zero. So we're going to compute the remainder after division and see if it's zero or not. For long division, we take the coefficients of the code word and look at those as the dividend. We take the coefficients of the CRC polynomial and use that as the divisor. And we perform a long division algorithm. The first step is a trial subtraction, except since these are binary coefficients, instead of subtraction, we use an XOR. And in this case, the subtraction will work because the top two bits of the active dividend and the divisor are both one. And that will give us a guaranteed zero in the top position, bringing down all the rest using the arithmetic facts of an XOR. Once we've done that step, we then do another conditional XOR, but we find out that this one doesn't work because the current top bit of the dividend is a zero, and so no XOR is performed with the divisor because that top bit is one. So we skip that step and just bring down the bits as they are. We do one more trial XOR, and we find out that that one will work, and we get a resulting remainder. As it turns out, this remainder is all zeros. So it's 0x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 0. Now what we have is a code word, and we have a remainder after dividing that code word by the CRC polynomial of 0. What that tells us is that this is a valid code word. If the code word had been corrupted in a way detectable by a CRC, what would have happened is we would have gotten a non-zero remainder. So the idea here is taking a valid code word that may have been subject to corruption, do the CRC computation by doing the polynomial division, seeing how the remainder turns out. If the remainder is zero, either no corruption has occurred or it's corruption that's undetectable by a CRC. If the value is non-zero, you know for sure that a corruption has occurred. And with that, we're done.